How did this happen? OK, let's have a look. Here we have the integral of x squared plus 2x over x plus 1 squared. Notice that this right here is a rational function. The degree on the top is 2. Likewise, the degree on the bottom is also 2. When the degrees are equal, we shall do polynomial long division to simplify the expression. But we are not going to do the polynomial long division here because this is actually really nice. Have a look right here. The denominator, if I expand it, let me just write this down for you. x plus 1 squared equals x squared plus 2x and then plus 1. Notice the numerator, isn't this very similar to the denominator? Yes. So in fact, this is what we can do. Right here, I'm just going to say this right here is equal to we have x squared plus 2x. And I really want the numerator to be like that. How do we do it? Just go ahead and add one to it. Hey, but that changes the whole thing. No, don't worry. Let's just go ahead and minus one after that, then it's okay. And then we still have this over parentheses x plus one squared. And when we do this, we will see the first three terms, it's exactly that. So it becomes integral parentheses x plus one squared. And then after that, we have minus one. And now we have this denominator, right? Just go ahead and put this over x plus 1 squared. And of course, give this the same denominator as well. Now, what's the first part? Yes, it's just 1. So this is exactly how we get that 1 right here. And then we have the minus 1 over x plus 1 squared. Aha. So there you have it. That's how we go from here to the one minus. That's it. Of course, just kidding. I'm gonna finish this, finish this for you, right? So let's go ahead and take it to here. Let's break them apart. We have the first integral is just integral of one. And then the second integral, we minus the integral one over x plus one squared. This is super easy. Integrating one in the x world is just x. But for this right here, we will have to do some do sub. Not so bad though, because this right here has no like uh, numbers in front of the x square, and this is just x to the first power, so it's not so bad though. Let me show you. Integral of one over x plus one squared. We are going to take u to be the input, which is the x plus one. Differentiating both sides, we get du equals dx, right? Just one dx, just like that. Now take this integral from the x world to the u world. We get integral one over u squared. That is the same as du. Nice. Then we can say this right here is the same as integrating u to the negative two. So that we can do the reverse power rule. Go ahead and add one to the power. Negative one plus one is negative one. And then we are going to divide it by the new power, so one over negative one. So the result is going to be, we have a negative, and then u to the negative one power plus c, or maybe you can just wait until the very end. Doesn't matter in my opinion. So here we have negative, and then u to the negative one is the same as one over u, and u is x plus one. In fact, you don't need to put on plus c here because we're trying to do this integral. So just put on the plus c for this result. So ladies and gentlemen, here we have the minus, right, from this subtraction here. So bring that down. And then for this integral, it has a negative result. So negative times negative, we get the positive here. And then we have the one over x plus one Right here, this is the place to put a plus C. So, that's it.